roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strong Good morning guys how are you doing i hope you are all liking my videos well this is the last episode of goa and right now i am having my breakfast at the britos well today we are uh, after the breakfast we'll be leaving for the chapura fort this fort is called the dil chahta hai fort the fort regained its lost fame after the famous movie dil chahta hai the view from the chapura fort is awesome i i love the uh, beaches in front of it Well now we are having our breakfast at the Britos an excellent restaurant at Bagha. Well we are having American breakfast which is very popular over here. You will get many breakfast options like the cheese stuffed croissant, chicken sausages, baked beans, pancakes, both chocolate and banana. You get both chocolate waffle and caramel waffle. I love the jungle chicken sandwiches. The continental food over here is just superb. Last night we were having chicken steak and fried calamari which tastes really great. Do try prawn zakuti another mind blowing dish that is available over here. You can see the prices over here. Well ideally this restaurant is a bit expensive. If you are having lunch then cost for 2 will be around 1000 and if you are having dinner over here then cost for 2 will be around 1500 without alcohol. For breakfast the cost for the 2 will be around 1800 approx. few things i would like to share with you guys if you are planning to stay near bagha then nazri is the best option it's a great property it's a brilliant resort it's very close to the beach it's reasonable it's close to britos and well the market is just outside the main entrance of the resort i love the market at bagha the market opens at 10 am in the morning and it stays open till 7 pm i love the market at bagha You have to do little bargain before buying. The stalls at the sidewalks are brilliant. The Bagha Night Market is very popular in Goa. You can go and check them out. I will strongly recommend you to buy from the shop as the prices are reasonable. Bagha offers you everything. The life at Bagha is brilliant. Stay here at the nearby hotel, dance at the Tito's, have food at the Britos, enjoy the life here at Bagha. It's crazy. I simply enjoyed my time at the Britos. Well now we have to go to Chapura Fort which is around 8 km from here. So let's go and show you the fort. It's 24 km from Panaji and 9 to 10 km from Bhaga Beach. Well, the Vagator which is just 700 m from the fort, you can when when you are entering the fort, you can see the Vagator which just below the fort. Well, it took me around 30 minutes to reach here. I am now standing few meters away from the entry gate. This fort was built by Adil Shah in 1612. After that, the fort has been held by many rulers for varying lengths of time. Since this place is little away from the hustle bustle crowds of Goa, so there might be a security issue once it starts. You have to park the car at the entry gate, and from there you have to hike the steep stairs, which will make you tired soon. Honestly, the hike is very exhausting. While hiking the stairs. From the entry point I came across many vendors selling coconut water mineral water juices and sugarcane juices trekking to the slanting height of the fort becomes very easy with the availability of these things handy for regular trekkers this hike is easy but for me this is little difficult I strongly suggest elderly people that you should guys should avoid this trek this is not an ideal place to visit as you might fall sick or you might not feel well the slopes are very steep over here it will take you an hour to cover the chapura fort so guys now let's go inside and show you the fort come with me this is the entry point guys this is the main door and now we are going inside the fort Lions roaring in the morning 
sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming home Savannah We'll never be alone Savannah The beauty of the world Savannah Let's all take a walk Savannah Just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Well guys, it's already 11.30 and we have to get back to our hotel, pack and then check out by 2 p.m. It will take more than one and a half hours to reach at the airport. So before bidding you goodbye, few important things that I would like to share with you guys. First thing, book your taxi in advance or day before your departure. Well, I was using Goa Miles over here. The Goa Miles is super, the, a popular taxi service in Goa. Just download the app and use it whenever you are, whenever you require. The taxi rentals are very economical. I love their service. But one thing, make just avoid the local taxis. They charge you a fortune to for airport drops. Second thing is keep sufficient time before leaving for airport. If your flight is at 5 p.m., then you have to leave by one. The taxi cannot overspeed, they cannot exceed 60 km per hour. So make sure you have sufficient time in hand. In the afternoon, the main city gets very crowded and you might face a standstill traffic jam at Panaji. So in order to avoid all this, keep sufficient time and plan accordingly. That's all from my end guys. I hope you all liked my episodes of North Goa. We'll meet you in a new journey, in a new place, in a new avatar. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Bye guys. Adios. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah